when are you all going to start standing up for the majority? And here's who the majority is. I'm the majority. Mark Robinson is the political version of a 25-year overnight success. I'm here to stand up for the law-abiding citizens of this community. He had been involved in his community since the 1990s, but never thought about running for office until this moment in April of 2018 when he gave a spontaneous speech at the Greensboro City Council. And we want to keep our rights. And by God, we're going to keep them. Come hell or high water. And close to a million views later, it's catapulted him to run for lieutenant governor. Why are you running? We want to make change. And we want to help people of North Carolina. We want to help our fellow citizens. And we want to serve. Robinson has a platform based on being pro-life, pro-Second Amendment, advocating for quality and choice in education, improving veterans' care, and standing up for the police. The police need to be defended, not defunded. As a black man raised in Greensboro, Robinson says he has seen racism. Help me. Help me. But he thinks much of the social unrest that we've seen across the country this summer is misguided. You see the marches, you see the calls for racial justice. What, what goes through your mind with that? Well, well honestly, I'm going to be honest with you. What goes through my mind is, where's the racial injustice? The entire nation came out against what happened to George Floyd. They stood up for what was right because they saw what, what happened was wrong. I believe if this country was racist, the exact opposite would have happened. What happened to George Floyd would have been swept under the rug, and the police officer that did it would still have his job today. As he campaigns across the state, Robinson said he's been impressed with how well his message and issues on key positions have been received. Are you finding that African-American Democrats are willing to listen to your message? We see uh, some pretty strong support from non-traditional uh, Republican voters and non-Republican voters. What surprised you in this race? Anything? I think what surprised me more than anything is how many people we see who love our message. Because our message is really just a message of common sense conservatism. Whether that will take him to the lieutenant governor's office, we'll see this November. Bob Buckley, Fox 8 News.